What characterizes access to space in the new space? How to define the new space with respect to launchers and rocket engines? Well, in the past, the space market was dominated by a small number of players supported by their governments. A small number of countries were able to access space and the companies were funded and operated by governments. The number of countries has increased over time, but what has really changed the picture recently is the entry of independent private companies into this market. There's new private companies able to raise funds and make profits in the space market are becoming more and more numerous. More than 60 launchers are in use today, and the competition is growing. At the time of making this video, more than 80 countries have operated artificial satellites, so the demand for launchers is growing and space is becoming more accessible. This paradigm shift in the space market is a revolution for space. So in the past, the development of launchers was driven solely by the need to increase performance. Today, there is another main driver, cost. So I don't want to say that in the past, cost was not an issue, okay? It always was. But today, it is the main aspect, the main player. The reason is simple to remain competitive and have a place in the space market, it is essential to produce more flexible and cheaper launchers. And uh, there are many other companies that do not appear in this list today because they are just developing launchers that have not yet flown. Indeed, when reality of new space is the exponential growth of new micro-launch vehicle startups. Micro-launchers, that is launchers designed to put a payload of less than one ton into low Earth orbit. The number of startups getting funding for this market is really impressive. So, for example, we can name some of them. Thus, in France, in Germany, we have Himples, Isar Aerospace, in the US, a Virgin Orbit, and I mean, those are just a few examples. You can find a lot. So, we can find today that there are a total of 10 operational small launchers, and 48 under development have been listed in 2021, and the number is continuously changing. Of course, not all the small launchers startup will survive, but they are clearly a reality of a new space. Why? Well, first, from a technological and economical point of view, micro launcher are more accessible than heavy launchers. Second, there is a market. Which market? Where? The nano satellite market, that means small satellites called CubeSat. And another one is the recent years we have seen the emergence of mega constellations. So they are intended for telecommunications, real-time monitoring and other applications. And they consist of thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit. So this market is set to grow in the coming years to a stationary level that will probably be constrained by maximum possible orbit occupancy or other constraint. To put mega constellations into orbit, heavy launcher that can launch dozens of satellites in a single launch, like for instance Falcon 9 will launch 60 startings in a single launch, where seem to be the best choice for deploying various mega constellations. But to replace single satellites, this will not be the case, and micro launcher will probably be the best solution. Especially for nanosatellites, micro-launchers can offer a competitive launch price. In addition, they can offer to insert the nanosatellites into a precise orbit. Whereas, whereas if nanosatellites are launched with heavy launchers, they are injected where the heavy launcher can. And the other strong idea is that the price could be affordable for individuals or more companies that want to put satellite into orbit. Last, 
but not least, the new space is emerging together with a growing awareness of societal challenges, including climate change, mobility, demography, health and well-being. And here is another, let's say, contradiction of the new space. So, for one side, we have this idea of access to space for all. The idea that everyone should be able to put a satellite into orbit, even a small one, at an affordable price. So, this is the space for all. The idea of being able to connect every person on every side of the world, that is one of the uh, future deployment and impact of mega constellations. So, the new space is the space for all. But from another side, we have a negative aspect is the ecological awareness. So, what is the environmental impact of the new space launchers? We have both the impact on Earth, where this radiative forcing or other impacts on Earth, and in space, for instance, space debris. So, the growth of even greater tensions between countries is also a consequence of these new space revolutions. And there is a need for global regulation, which is very difficult to achieve. So, at the same time, many space activities contribute to fight actually against climate change with applications like Earth observation, monitoring, etc. So, in short, it is a very complex subject. In summary, it is very difficult to give a definition of the new space. But we can say that there are several aspects that characterize the new space and access to space in the new space. Innovation, so with regards to production methodologies, services and technologies. Opening up the exploitation of space to private actors and their ability to raise funds, as well as establishing partnership between public and private actors. Third, reducing the price of access to space. Four, space for all, collaboration and resource sharing together with awareness of societal challenges like climate change. In particular, in this course, you will first acquire basic knowledge to understand how to access space. This would in particular concern mission analysis, launchers design and rocket engines design. These introductory information will help you to understand what, are, what characterizes space access in the new space in relation with three main aspects. First, methodologies of design, development and production of launchers and rocket. Second, innovative technologies and third, sustainable space with future development of green launchers towards the green space.